channel it is Didi with Didi at home if you're new to my channel on this channel it's a lifestyle channel I also do home decor as well as hair content if you are a returning subscriber hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about the things that you need to rent out and get that I personally feel like is worth the money purchasing from Ikea so um, that's what today's video is about you guys I have a lot of things in my home that's from Ikea I am not anti Ikea I know a lot of people feel like it is cheaply made products I for one do not feel that way I love the way that the items look in my space and I think with anything it depends on how you decide to customize it and also how it looks in your space so um, let's go ahead and get into the video so this wine glass that I'm gonna talk about is the first thing on my list of what to get from Ikea it is it looks like this it is a white wine glass as you can the see the name of it is I believe you pronounce it dear grip I'm not sure throughout this video just know that a, clearly I am not Swedish so I will be pronouncing things a bit off so forgive me for that just right now um actually 14 ounces of about this glass you guys is the shape at the bottom I love that it kind of it's tapered at the top and then it gets a little bit wider at the bottom but I absolutely love the way this looks again it is a white wine glass but those of you that don't care whether you drink white wine or red wine again that is up to you do you but I absolutely love this again I just love the shape and also with the stemware at the bottom as you can see these are pretty lightweight but again I think they are still great for the buy these are actually only $4.99 is what I pay for these and I think I purchased like four of them but Really good buy if you're looking for wine glasses and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on them. Check out Ikea. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is actually a bowl. This bowl is, um, I believe the name is Off Test. And again, all of this I'm going to be putting on the screen. But you guys, this bowl is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that it looks. I really wanted to change a lot of my dinnerware to white and so they have a lot of options in Ikea this one is nine inches so this bowl with this size it's great if you want to put salads in it because I don't know about you guys but I'm when I'm eating salads of course I don't like to eat them um, in plates it's just my personal preference and also a lot of the times the bowls that you have at home they're just a little bit too small so I love that this one is a whole lot larger um, and again, like I said, it is nine inches. They do have a smaller one that's six inches as well, but I just think that this is great for salads if you wanna put pastas in it as well. It's great and I love that it's so deep because you could actually fit um, the content here in this bowl um, without it spilling out over the top. So again, I really like this and I typically use this for pastas or for salads, but that bowl itself is actually this bowl is actually only two dollars and 49 cents again you can't beat it um it is really great quality again um you can put these in the dishwasher i put mine in dishwasher all the time they are dishwasher safe so the next thing we're going to talk about is something that's really popular i'm sure a lot of you have actually seen it on YouTube, in person, on Pinterest, whatever it is. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Alex desk, okay? You guys, the Alex desk is actually $139, but again, if you are looking for an affordable desk to put in your office, this one is the one to get. It's very sturdy, it is all white, they have them in different colors. Um, I'm sorry, mine is all white, but they have them in different colors. I decided to elevate my desk by spray painting the frame of it gold. 
So again, I'm showing you here um, on the screen what mine looks like in my office. And again, that's what I mean by if you are looking to elevate something in your space, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, spray paint or paint is your best friend. And so during the thing, I wanted to go ahead and create an office space because I was working from home. And this is what I went out and purchased. I absolutely love it. I do not have any complaints. It has two big drawers that you can pull out to put items in. You can get it organized. Ikea has definitely a lot of things that you can use to organize your space. And I used it absolutely love it all of these things that i'm sharing with you guys in this video i actually have no complaints about it and if i did things that i may have had a complaint about ikea obviously is not coming in this video so again that's the third thing that i was sharing with you guys today is the alex disc you guys check ikea i know ikea is very expensive when it comes to delivery options but if you have ikea that's not too far from you definitely drive out and try and purchase the items and get them home yourself what i will say that i love about ikea and hashtag none of this is sponsored but if ikea you want to sponsor me holler at your girl but the the good thing about Ikea is if you're looking for a piece, if you put in your zip code, it'll let you know if the closest Ikea that's to you will have these items in stock. So that was really helpful for me because a lot of these options and a lot of these things that I'm sharing with you guys is very popular. With it being very popular, it's sold out a whole lot. Of course, we know everything during this time. There is like issues with um, shipments coming in and people just trying to get their home life organized. So again, use that first before you run out to Ikea to see if it's even in stock in your local Ikea. So that's another thing. So now moving on to the next object or the next thing that I'm going to share is the Ikea Rast. They R-A-S-T, Ikea Rest um, nightstands. Now these are actually nightstands. They come just plain. Um, and again, this was something else that I started to DIY. I will link a video that I actually DIY these drawers. Again, the theme in my office is um, very neutral with pops of pink and gold. So I decided to paint my Ikea Rest drawers white and then i also added some gold hardware to it came out great um i decided to use these as not nightstands but i'm using them as storage for books if you're new to my channel i work in education and of course you have a lot of books that you use that i just cannot seem to get rid of but i did not want to have them out on display so I'm using those for book storage. So that's a good idea if you're looking for different ways to organize things in your home. Try out purchasing some nightstands from Ikea and then go ahead and put your book or whatever you have that you want to store in the nightstands. Um, you can use them for book storage. And these nightstands were actually or three drawer chest, I think that's what they call them. They are actually $49.99 and I purchased two of them. And it was really easy to paint them, you guys. It I This was actually like one of my, I won't say it's my first DIY because I like to DIY stuff all the time. But this is very um, easy to do if you are new to DIY because you're simply just um, sanding and then painting it, let it dry and then add the hardware. But again, I'll drop that video in my description box if you want to see how I did it um, so that you can go ahead and purchase them for yourself. Sticking with everything in my office. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the probably the most famous thing from Ikea that is almost always sold out is the DIY makeup vanity. So this makeup vanity, you guys, actually consists of three Ikea pieces. So it is two of the Alex drawers, and then it has the tabletop on top. So the Alex drawer units are $90 a piece. They come with five different drawers. So they are great for makeup storage. Um, I did a video on that as well, just talking about how I organized my makeup in that um, makeup uh, unit and then on the top um, the tabletop 
I'll put it at the bottom because I know I'm going to butcher the name of it. But it's $35. It goes on the top. It sits perfectly on top of the Alex drawers. And you have a DIY makeup vanity. You could all also use this setup for a desk. So, so if you didn't want to do the Alex drawer that I shared just a few minutes ago, then you could try this as an option as well. Again, you have way more storage on the side. So if you're storing papers, you know, stationery, any type of files or anything like that, you could put those on the side for um, people out there that don't have that much makeup, but you want to use it. Or you can combine it so one side could be, you know, stationary items and then the other side could be makeup or however you want to store it. Um, yeah, so my office is fairly big so as you can see I need a lot of things. I'm also going to link link in the description box um, my office tour. I think that'll help you guys to see kind of where everything is but it all fits in my space. I have my desk, I have my makeup vanity, I have my two um, nightstands on side of me as well and everything fits. I have enough space and I have no complaints about these products. My office is full of Ikea furniture. Okay, so next we're going to move into the living room. So another infamous piece from Ikea is the Hovit. I think that's how you say it, Hovit mirror. It is a floor length mirror. It's great for those um, beauty outfit of the days. And it's really, really inexpensive. It's only $149. If you guys have been looking for floor length mirrors, you know that mirrors can get very very expensive now in home goods they are actually starting to sell more floor length mirrors as well as other companies but a few years ago when floor length mirrors actually started to become popular and become a thing it was very very hard to find one and the ones that you did find were really expensive so ikea was the first place where you could get one that was really inexpensive that was large enough for your outfit of the days Again, mine is in my living room. It's the perfect spot for me and I love it. The next thing we're going to talk about is a, it's basically like a storage combination with doors. I first used mine as a TV stand. I put my um, TV on it in the living room. Um, I don't use my TV on top of it now because it's mounted, but still I have it in my living room and I put just like home decor on top of it. The name of it is Besta, B-E-S-T-A. Again, I'm going to put it across the bottom. It is $210. Um, you could get one for $210, but here's the thing. There are a lot of different combinations and of how you can get this drawer unit, okay? It really depends on what color you want, what kind of like texture. So they have different different materials that you can get it made out of. You have some that are flat white. You have some that are a little bit more shiny. And again, I'm talking about white just because that's the one that I have in my living room space. But they have a probably like 10 different color combinations that you could purchase for this and I think the one that I actually got was around $280 just because I decided to get the doors that were um, not flat white they were a little bit more shiny I decided to go with that one because I felt like it would be easier to keep clean which I think worked out great for me because I have no issues with it looking dirty and dull it still looks great just like from when I first bought it and again, you are seeing what it looks like in my space. You're also seeing what it looks like um, on Ikea's website. What I will say is this um, drawer unit has a lot of space in the inside. It has so much space in the inside. I store, um, yes, I still have uh, DVDs, but I store DVDs in there. I store books, you know, additional home decor that I'm not using at the moment. It's so much space in the inside. So definitely check it out. Again, it's great for living room space to put um, extra things in if you need extra storage. That's what I will say about IKEA products. Depending on what you need for your space, they have so many options for you. So check it out. Um, you can use it in your living room like me. You can also put it in your bedroom as a TV stand. Um, I also think that depending on um, how big your entryway is, you can use it as an entryway table as well. Um, you can use it as a side table maybe um, somewhere else in your home. 
maybe like a hallway table so you can use it for a lot of different things um, to fit into your space so the last thing from Ikea we're gonna talk about today is the calyx um, it's like a cubby system this cubby system starts at off um, $80 but just like with anything Ikea is very customizable so you can add drawers you can just um, have cabinets that like cabinet doors that close or you can have pull out drawers it really depends on how many you want to buy um, this actual system has about eight different cubbies the one that I has has four on the top and four on the bottom again you can see how I decided to uh, rearrange the doors and the pull out drawers of course with Ikea everything it is um, you actually put it together yourself Ikea does offer an option to put the items together yourself but I don't have any issues with putting together all of these things that I'm talking to you about I put it all together on my own no help it wasn't bad I mean my thing is if you can read you can put it together um, just read the instructions it wasn't hard to me if you are somebody that doesn't like to read the instructions you may struggle a little bit but um, it works out for me because I don't have the issues with putting it together. Also, you know, there's other options. Um, there are different apps that you can use and companies that you can use that you could pay to come put the things together. And they may be a little bit cheaper than Ikea. Um, but again, keeping along with the theme, I needed something that was really big to fit in my entryway. My entryway is really large and I needed something substantial to go there so it wouldn't look... Um, so really so it could take up space i really could use more items in my entryway but i just kind of just said you know what that's enough but um as you can see this is what it looks like in my entryway so i just store different things in there i really just purchased it for decor purposes and to have a little bit of decorative items in my entryway so it wouldn't look so bare but again that item was a great buy that item as well you could purchase it put it in your bedroom if you wanted to your bedroom or your closet i think that would be great if you want to use for um shoe storage you could definitely sh i've seen people store shoes in those little cubbies um also if you wanted to purchase you know how different companies have like the little like little storage boxes so they sell them at walmart they sell them at ikea they sell them at five below but you can use those little storage cubbies to like put stuff in the inside and then push it in that'll also save you money so that you won't have to purchase them from ikea ikea does sell them though so that's another option as well but like i was saying everything is so customizable you could purchase it to fit your needs is what I love. So I say all that to say, depending on what you guys want, check them out okay check them out. I know there's a lot of things that I did not cover in this video of popular things that you can get from Ikea. These are just some of the things that I purchased from Ikea but I like the furniture pieces. Of course you know there are people out there that don't mind spending a, a you know a a lot of money on you know customized pieces and I don't think it's anything wrong with it I just wanted to share some budget friendly options that you could use for home decor in your home and these are things that you could pick up from Ikea so um, I hope you guys like this video again on this channel I do a lot of home decor so if you are here for that reason check out some of my videos down in the description box and share this video with other people that you know that's it for this video and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye!